सेवेंथ एंड एट चैनल ऑफ बाई जूस आई एम योर टीचर अंकिता एंड आई वेलकम यू इन टूडेज क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट amazing beautiful festivals of our country it's a menti quiz so i want all of you to participate and i hope that all of you are ready good evening everyone good evening good evening everyone yes it's the festival mode everyone i'm sure your schools vacations are there so now we thought can why not so everyone here we have some celebrations so yeah i'm just actually forgot this but yeah tell your tripti ma'am came and she was like ma'am this So everyone, it's the family. It's the vacation mode, right? Family vacation mode. We all are in. You and I belong to an amazing big family of Bijus, and I'm so happy to see all of you here today. Yes, I'm good. Thank you for asking, everyone. Thank you for asking. Are you all excited? Yes. Right. We all are Santas. We are spreading happiness. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yes. Yeah. The hat. Cute little hat. Yeah. It should like should come like this. Something like this. Okay. So everyone, are you ready for the quiz? Come on. Are you ready for the quiz? Is quiz on Indian festival. So it's a very very interesting quiz that we have around this time, and it's the hooked on GK session, everyone. Yes. Nice. So I want everyone to quickly join the menti. Right? I can see 92 of 92 of you are here everyone. Please make sure you're hitting the like button. Hit the like button everyone. I know, yeah. <laughs> Hit the like button and quickly join the menti quiz. You have to go on www.menti.com and you have to use the code 26398283. Yes. Awesome I'm explaining you that how you can join you have to go you have to open a new tab you have to write www.menti.com and then you have to use the code which is 26398283 very good you can help your friends everyone help your friends and quickly join the quiz aaj kal ka gift aaj gift mere paas access to nahi hai okay So we'll move ahead, everyone. Right, I'll wait on this page so that you will be able to add your details. And thank you, everyone, for for joining this family of 50k. Soon we'll be moving ahead, right? So please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And apart from that, everyone, please make sure you are joining the quiz. See, we all love quizzes, right? And this time, of course, the last time we had a quiz, you all enjoyed. So now again we have this quiz on 22nd of January please make sure you are sending your registration yes right and you can get a chance to meet all your teachers okay everyone so here we are if you're new here please do take a moment and subscribe to the channel and please make sure to hit the like button everyone yes hit the like button i hope that all of you have hit the like button we'll only start when we have 100 likes come on and a 100 likes only will start yes i can see oh we have 115 of you quickly everyone quickly join the menti hit the like button and join the menti yes we have total number of questions are 10 right we'll start when we have 100 likes aisa kar sakte hain right yes everyone okay you are the foot okay i can find few people we can just have only 75 avatars over here Yes, uh, I can see a foot over here. So very good. Nice, everyone. Come on, hit the like button, everyone. Hit the like button. Yes, I remember you all. Welcome to the class. Welcome to the class, everyone. And this is your teacher Ankita. And in today's class, we are having the quiz on the Indian festival. Yes. So I hope that all of you are ready. Total number of questions are ten. The quiz is happening on menti.com. You have to open a new tab. You have to write www.menti.com, and then they'll ask you the, for the code. And code is two six three nine eight two eight three. Ready? Are uh, everyone? Are you ready? Ready? But please make sure you're hitting the like button. Come on, everyone. We need at least hundred likes. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it. One forty one of you are here. Super proud of you, everyone. Quickly ask your friends and then we'll start. 
Yes, yes, yes. Like everyone, ask your friends to quickly hit the like button. Okay, now when we talk about the Indian festival, right, we know that different states have different festivals, right, and different cultures have different festivals. Usually, these festivals are the significance of the beginning of something new. And if you're especially in country like India, where we have, like, the base, basically, if you go back in the history, agriculture was very important. So, majority of our festivals are kind, of, are kind of revolving or basically we can say that kind revolves around the agriculture. I'm sure all of you have uh, observed this, right? There are so many festivals that we have in our country that revolves around the harvesting season of this part, uh, no, harvesting of the crops. No, you're right on time everyone. I can see many of you have just joined now. Welcome to the session everyone. Go on www.menti.com right use the code 263982 and 83 okay clear everyone okay thumbs up and we are good to go quick everyone nice very good okay 152 of you are here yes i can see i can see so let's start everyone all the best all the best everyone 150 so we'll stop again and we'll have more likes, but let's start now quickly. Question number one, everyone, on your screen and all the best. Name the most popular festival of Kerala. Diwali, Bihu, Onam or Pongal. These questions are really very easy. So the intention over here is to, is to come and of course to, to quickly check that how much we know about our country and their festival. Even though it's a very easy question. But I'm sure many of us might have confusion that which festival we are talking about. So we'll talk about that also. Yes, everyone. <clears throat> yes, very good, very good. And 116 of you have whatever the correct answer. The correct answer is Onam. So the most popular festival of Kerala is Onam. And I'm sure you have seen amazing pictures about it. And it has an amazing, amazing history, right? It's an annual harvest festival. Again, a very important thing, everyone. It's an annual harvest festival celebrated by Hindus in Kerala, right? And of course, it's famous for its boat competition, right? I'm sure you must, you would have seen this. And of course, uh, there are a lot of cultural events that happens, a lot of dance, cultural activities that happens. Yes, snake boat race. I was just trying to recall the name, but yes, snake boat race. Yes, very good. Yes, everyone. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I'll give you time to type your name. Okay. Very good, everyone. So now we clear that Onam is a very, very famous festival that is celebrated by the Hindus in Kerala. Very good. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question, everyone. Okay. Okay, let's see what is happening over here. I hope Menti is fine. Okay, question number two, everyone, and here we go to the question number two. I hope that all of your energy is really very high, everyone. Okay, Dash is celebrated by Muslims at the end of the fasting month of Ramadan. Ramadan. It is considered as a feast of breaking the fast. Easy peasy. So there's only one which will make sense. Idul Fitr, Holy Onam Navratri. All of you should vote for the correct answer, everyone. All of you. It's a very, very easy question. And I'm sure... India being such a diverse country, I'm sure you would have eaten the feast of Eid for... Okay, I kind of gave away the answer. I'm sorry, just... Now I'm begging, I gave you the answer. But yeah, it was okay. I leaked the answer. Literally, I leaked the answer. 157 of you have voted for the correct answer. And the correct answer is Eid al Fitr. Eid, right? And we have yummy, yummy food. And sevaiya bahaat zyada tasty and yummy hoti hain. Yes. So we have this amazing festival. So please make sure, you know, if you haven't tried, definitely try it out. It's a holiday of breaking the fast. And of course we have it in, you know, it's a very, very important festival of, for the Muslims. And of course it has, you know, they will be opening their fast after the sunset. Basically, they'll have amazing food. So very good everyone. Yes, okay. Question number three, everyone on your screen. Question number three. Let's see this question and all the best, everyone. So these questions are really very easy, right? And we are looking at the festivals. Which festival commemorate the birth of much-loved 
elephant headed hindu deity which is regarding as a removal of the obstacle e easy peasy the answer is in the question itself navratri dashera janmashtami or ganesh chaturthi i think now the chat is like no there's no uh, you know diversion very good very good everyone quickly yay times up and the correct answer is option number d 144 of you have voted for the correct answer it's the ganesh chaturthi right and we're talking about the elephant head the the god which is lord ganesh over here and of course it is celebrated right of course i'm sure you would have seen people will be you know will be actually uh, carrying the lord ganesh in their homes the they the lord ganesh will stay there with them for few days and of course then they'll say bye bye very very important and amazing festival mostly you will see this in maharashtra and different parts of the country but mostly in maharashtra yes idols right they'll carry the idols absolutely correct okay Yes, Priyansh, I'll give you time during the leaderboard. Okay, question number four, everyone. Question number four. Oh, you also have Ganesh Chaturthi. Good, very good. Really amazing. Okay, Dash is the harvesting festival that is celebrated in the Assam that marks the beginning of the Assamese New Year. Makar Sankranti, Bihu, Lohri, or Onam. Yes, yes, Aghansh. Yes, we have different names of it in different states in different languages. Yes. So everyone uh, can you see the snow which is coming over here come on. Well after this question I want to talk about that. <laughs> yes everyone and 114 of you have voted for the correct answer the correct answer is Bohol Bihu right of course Bihu is a very very amazing festival. Again, a festival which is actually revolving around the harvesting which happens in the country in that particular part of Assam. Right, so of course we have different sets of the bohu, uh, sorry, bihu that we have. We have in month of April, then we have in month of the October, and of course in January. So of course it's all very important, and of course we have traditional dance, traditional food, and it's really very, it's a very important occasion where people come together and celebrate the hard work that they did. Yay! It's a missed click. It's okay. Now you know the correct answer. Yes, very good. Do we have anyone over here? Do we have anyone over here from Assam? Okay, Suku. Yes. Okay, Amritansh. Nice. I can see there are few of you from um, from Assam. Okay, I am from Rajasthan. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's everyone, let's move to question number five, everyone, and after that we'll have the leaderboard. Let's see this question. Okay, dash is celebrated by the Christian as a birth of the Jesus Christ. Oh, all of you, all of you should vote for the correct answer: Christmas, Easter, Diwali, or Eid al-Fitr. It's a very, very easy question, right? We are in a mode of that particular festival for sure. and we have the snow hint is in the screen absolutely correct yes the hint is in the screen itself yeah i was wearing the cap also very good 164 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer is christmas so christmas is celebrated as a birth of the jesus christ all around the world right it's a very very famous festival i'm sure in your schools also all the festivals are celebrated but of course it's a year end festival that we have so we have it in our country also awesome everyone the sambar 25th okay now we will have the leaderboard here we have everyone let's see seems like all of you are really very close very less difference in terms of the marks So we have fastest is Priyanshu. We have Ayushi, Anjali, Shiva, Dakshini. We have Suchitna. We have Abhina. We have Manya, Nidhi, Aditya, and Bhavna. Very close competition, everyone. Very close competition. Look at these. Happy. 
Okay, now I'm giving you time to write your names. Right? There are so many of you uh, who are requesting to write the names. Everyone, please write your names now on everyone. We'll only begin this session when we have at least, come on. We should have more likes. How many likes we have? Right, 125 likes. Come on, everyone. We should be. So many of you are here, everyone. Please make sure to hit the like button. Yes, everyone. Okay, very good. Those of you who haven't hit the like button, please take a moment and go and hit the like button. And if you're new here, please do take a moment and subscribe to the channel. It's the channel 6, 7th and 8th where we have amazing videos for you. So, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Yes, come on. Sukhbir, it could be that, you know, maybe, so in the leaderboard, if you know, these students who are there in the leaderboard, they would have answered the question correctly and the speed of answering would have been really, very really less. Okay, the quicker you answer, the more points you will get. Yes, I, yeah, it's a very beautiful graph, right? It's like very tough competition, very close to each other, all of you are. Amazing, everyone. Yes. So, everyone, I hope that all of you have hit the like button. Okay. So, before we move ahead, we have a very interesting and amazing course for all of you. Please make sure you try this course out. It will be helping you to improve your English. Right? And of course, we have amazing, uh, you know, certified teachers who are there to help you. There will be no judgment, right? Of course, when we are at the beginning stage of something, we always feel that, oh, maybe people will judge us. But this is a very closed group where they'll be encouraging you to be more confident in your speaking, spoken English. Please do try it out. Yes, the link of the course is in the description below, right? Click on it, you will be able to move uh, at the website. And it's a two-month course, right? And it's a paid course. Okay, everyone. Yes, okay, I can see some of, some of you are saying 200 likes. I don't want 200 likes, I want 150 likes. Come on, everyone, I know that. All of you. Yes, we'll, we'll have a quick discussion. Everyone go and hit the like button. Bilkul, very good. Yes, we'll have. It's done. Very good, very good. Your all questions were correct, but it could be sort of because, oh, sort of, it could be because of the, you know, it could be because of your speed. You need to increase the speed. Yes. Okay, very good, everyone. Chalye, let's move ahead. Okay. Here we have question number six, everyone, on your screen, and let's see what is the question. Okay, how many national holidays are observed in India? How many national holidays we have? 11, 9, 6, 3. How many national holidays we have? Yes, everyone, quickly vote. And the correct answer is option number D. Okay. 65 of you have voted for the correct answer. See, when we talk about the national holiday means, national holiday is only three. Independence Day, Republic Day and the Gandhi Jayanti. So 67, seven of you actually got confused. Majority of you got confused with 11. I think you just wrote something on the internet and it was 11 and you picked that up. But three are the national uh, holidays that we have. Okay? Very good everyone. So here we go to question number seven. Yes, the Gandhi Jayanti. Absolutely correct everyone. Okay. Yeah, they thought Sunday also. Could be. Okay, everyone, question number seven on your screen. No worries. Question number seven, everyone. In the Hindu calendar, the beginning of a new year usually falls in the month of April. But what name is it celebrated? Vasant Panchmi, Chhat, Buddha Purnima, or Ugadi. In the Hindu calendar, right, the beginning of a new year, 
which is there in the month of the April, what we call it as? I'm sure you'll be able to answer this question also. Come on everyone. And the correct answer is option number D. Vasant Panchmi nahi hai. Right? It's Ugadi. Very good, very good. So option number D is the correct answer, which is a little bit shocking, right? But we talk about it, right? It's also, it's the new year, starting the celebration of the new year in the state of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, right? And of course, it start the Hindu calendar beginning. Yes, I know. Very good. Yes, Vasant Panchmi, of course, is day where we actually worship the uh, goddess Saraswati. Yes, we call it as yes. Okay, everyone. Now you know that Harsimran. Right? See, this, these classes will actually help us to, you know, know more about our country. Guri Parva is also known as, yes, we, the different names we have. See, we all are learning something new today, right? Yes, awesome everyone. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the question number 8. Okay, here we go everyone. Question number 8 on your screen. In Gujarat, Makar Sankranti is celebrated as... Okay. Magaha, Saji, we have Haldi Kumkum, Uttarayan or Khichri. Yes, everyone. I'm sure you all know the correct answer for this question. It's a very, very famous festival. Especially if you are someone from Gujarat, you will be able to give the correct answer. From, Raj from Rajasthan also, if you're there, you will be able to answer this question. Very good, everyone. Question. Uh, the correct answer is Uttarayan. And 76 of you have voted for the correct answer. Very well done, everyone. So the other name of Makar Sankranti that we have, we call it as the Uttarayan. Yes. Okay. Uttarayan is a Hindu festival. Of course, we know that, you know, after that, you know, the extreme winters will end and people celebrate, especially in Gujarat and in Rajasthan by flying kites. Okay, and it's a very beautiful festival. Yes, I'm from Rajasthan. Yes. Okay, very good everyone. So that was question number 8. Now we have question number 9 on your screen. Okay, Hornbill festival is celebrated in which state of India? Hornbill is a very famous bird that we have in our country. And uh, it's a festival is celebrated in which, which state? Manipur, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Mizoram. Okay, everyone, come on. See, after that, we have the last question. All of you quickly vote for this question. And the correct answer is Nagaland. Very good. 105 of you have voted for the correct answer. It's the Nagaland. So, Hornbill Festival is celebrated in Nagaland, right? Of course, we uh, we know that it's a tribe. Uh, it's a basically a very important tribal festival and the cultural activity that we have over there. So, hornbill is a very, very beautiful bird, right? So, if you, I'm sure you would have seen it in many textbooks, also various. If you have not seen that, please go and watch it today on the internet, right? And you will be able to see that it's really very amazing. But you can find hornbill in the e northeast part also and the western ghats also. Yes, yes, it's a bird. Hornbill is a bird. It's a black bird, right? And it has a very huge beak. So one beak is definitely something which actually helps. And on top of that, there's a yellowish, orangish, reddish color of structure that is kind of there, which looks like a part of a beak, but it's not. Yes. Okay, everyone. Here we go to the last question. Now, I will ask you, all of you, now, this is a small request from all of you, everyone. Please make sure you hit the like button. It's the last question, but yeah, we have to at least, we have more than 160 of you in the class. Please make sure you hit the like button. Hello, hello. 
Yes. We have different names of it. Come on everyone. Yes, the team. So the team works really very hard for all of this, right? And when they see your likes, they feel really very happy. That means all of you took few seconds from your time and hit the like button to show that all of us are working really very hard for you and you appreciate that. Ha, holy wali team. Hey. We have beautiful colors, right? See? The team took actually a lot of time to think about the theme and kaise kaise jana hai. Now it looks very beautiful. Okay, everyone. Yes. So we have 150, 152 students in the class. Team ne aaj bola hai ki itne likes ho chahiye, ma'am. Please make sure if you're new here, subscribe also with the likes of though. Done. Very good. Very good. Yes. Akash. Yes. You will. Definitely. It's a very beautiful bird. And if you look on internet, right, you will be able to see and they have, they have beautiful structures. Awesome. Okay, everyone. Yes. Very good, Harsimran. Dekho. Help your friends. Awesome everyone, let's see this particular last question. Here we go everyone and here we have on which festival it was believed that the avatar of God Vishnu killed Hirna Kashipu, Diwali, Dashera, Narzima Jayanti or Dhanteras? Easy question. Right? Please make sure to quickly answer this question everyone. Yes, and the correct answer to this question is option, 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 option C, Narsima Jayanti. Very good, everyone. 87 of you have voted for the correct answer. Awesome, everyone. Very good, very good. Now we are done with the last question. We should have the leaderboard now. All of you are ready for the leaderboard. Here we have the leaderboard everyone and but before that see we have this image yeah tricked you <laughs> so we have this beautiful image of Lord Narasimha right over here and I'm sure all of you have heard these stories right so do write in the comment section how many of you have heard these stories very good okay festival are very good we have amazing people over here Let's see everyone, the final leaderboard is over here and the fastest is Priyanshu, then we have Manya, Chenny, we have Prerna, I'm really glad I can't see your name, then we have Jams, Ayushi, Sutra, Nidhi, Amritansh, Jha, Festival Lover, Ta-da! very good. Okay, you haven't heard about that story, do try it out, right? It's an amazing story for a small boy and his belief in Lord Vishnu yes very good everyone very good so with this everyone we are done with today's Menti I hope that all of you have enjoyed okay now this is only small one request everyone please make sure you write in the comment section that which is your favorite festival right and as we all tell you we have got you covered and please make sure to check out the playlist. The exams are near, right? Go and check out the playlist. Yes, okay, I can see you are writing about. Very good, Pavni. Please do that. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope that all of you have loved the session, have enjoyed the session, and I hope that all of you have learned something new today. It's the last few weeks of this year, right? And I'm sure. This year was great for you. In the upcoming year, I'm sure it will be amazing, amazing. This year, what we have learned, we have learned about so many things. And on that, we are adding this beautiful list that we now know few festivals of our country. Yes. So on that note, everyone, I'll say bye-bye to you. Do take care of yourself. Lots of love to each one of you. And keep on enjoying your life, right? And stay happy and keep on learning with Baijus. 
Bye bye. Lots of love, everyone. Bye bye.